Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will continue our work on Virgil from the game Devil May Cry 5 by painting his upper body. Keep in mind that the hands will not be painted in this video. Future and past parts will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get to painting! Just like we did with the lower body, we will paint the coat and shirt of the upper body with Vallejo's dark grey blue. Two thin layers are more than enough for the base. To avoid painting black, we will paint the coat with the Leviathan blue. Both the front and the back of the coat should be painted, however, not the shirt. Of course, if you want to paint the coat black, feel free to do so. My suggestion would be Black Templar. Once we made sure the contrast has dried, we will get a light talk blue and start highlighting the raised areas of the coat. It may be a very bright color, however, on the next step, we will darken it. If you have painted the coat black, then maybe you can highlight it with Dark Reaper and afterwards with Underhawk blue. Subsequently, we will cover the entire coat with a Dragon Half Nightshade. This will darken both the contrast and the highlights we did, blending the colors. In case you feel the blue is still too bright after the shade has dried, go with another layer. Using grey sear, once the shade has fully dried, we will paint the silver details on the coat. There are details on the back as well as the cuffs, so go carefully with the belly of your brush. If any mistakes happen, try to salvage it by doing highlights there with Ally Talk Blue. With Runefang Steel, we will paint the cufflinks as well as the button that exists on the coat. As with all metallics, we will shade it with non oil in order to give them some depth. Once the shade has dried, we will go over the buttons again, giving them a nice highlight with Rune Fung Steel. To finish the coat, we will go over the most raised blue areas with another layer of Alitok Blue. Moving to the shirt, we will base the entirety with Cantor Blue. Do be careful not to paint the coat. Some deep areas on the collar can also be left unpainted in case you are not able to reach them without painting the coat. In order to shade the shirt, we will once again use Drakenhof Nightshade. Once the shade has fully dried, we will go over some of the edges and traced areas with another layer of Cantor Blue. Afterwards, we will mix a bit of Alitok Blue to our Cantor Blue, so that the consistency of the mix is roughly 1 to 1. We will go over the highlights we just did, covering less area. Then, we will take pure Alitok Blue and add details to the edges of the shirt panels. If you want and find it useful to also add details on the raised areas, feel free to do so. To paint the buttons on the shirt, as well as the zipper, we will use Rune Fang Steel. As the area is small, do paint them really carefully. As we did with the cufflinks and buttons on the coat, we will shade the zipper and buttons on the shirt with no oil as well. Following that, we will go over the same areas covering less area with Rune Fang Steel. The result should look like this. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Any interaction you make help the channel immensely. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.